Welcome to another video about Satisfactory. Today I have a couple goals that I want to pursue. So when I interact with the hub here, what I want to do is I want to open up all my tier one uh, items here. So by the end of the day, I want to get all three of these items done. And if, you, if I've got time, I want to create a lookout tower. It helps to move along the, the, uh, the building process better by being able to see better where things need to be strung and where things need to go and how to get there instead of trying to guess where conveyor belts go, for, for example, by you know just traveling through as best you can. So. Um, I want to uh, go ahead and have the benefits of the lookout tower and see if we can get going. That'll also allow me to have my foundations here. It'll allow me to have extra logistics such as the merge conveyor and the splitter conveyor, which at this point would be extremely useful because miners can output a whole bunch more than what the smelters can, can take and use. So I can actually put two smelters to it and I can feed those two smelters into two different constructors and uh, do a bunch of other good things too. So uh, good things there. And then field research uh, gives me an extra hand slot so I can hold more than one item. And it gives me a map, which is gonna be extremely helpful too. So I wanna open up all of these things right now. I'm gonna select the milestone, but I need some limestone and I need some iron plates. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is get, uh, get everything active. Um, first off, you know, all of my uh, things need powering up here. And, and so uh, let's go ahead and give that some fuel and turn to this one and see how much more fuel it needs. Yeah, we can go ahead and just add some more there. It's like everything's working. Uh, the ingots are going there and that's going in there and let's see here i don't have that powered up yet uh, i can build a biomass burner over by my limestone quarry i think i'm going to go ahead and do that this doesn't need powering up um, this does do i have a pole that can handle getting me power to that I've got a pole clear over there. Let's see if I have any any pole. To, okay, that only has two items to it. So yeah, let me go ahead and string a pole from there to there. I need a two. And I need to put that to there, over to there. And good, we got that part of it. Now let's go ahead and go down to my limestone quarry and jump on down. There. And Q, I don't want to make a pole. I want to make a biomass burner. And I want to put it right there. And okay. Oh, I only have a. Well, I have seven wood. That'll keep it going for a little bit. And. No connection, so let's get it connected. All right, it's green, it's mining, and hopefully, gonna start seeing some stuff come out here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. All right, there we go. What is this? 
This mineral shows purity levels akin to synthetic quartz manufactured on Earth and can be used to improve communication and exploration technologies. A new okay. research tree can now be accessed in the map. a little bit of quartz. Okay, that guy's off now. So I need to go get... Get the power turned back on to one of my biomass burners over here, I guess. One or both now. Yeah. Well, those are both running, so what's the problem here, folks? Alright, I need to make concrete. There we go. And start it. Production cost, okay. Okay. Hadn't configured it yet. All right. Ever learning, right? All righty. 82. All right, let's run back there. Because I have enough to do the upgrade. So let's go do an upgrade. Milestone reached. You have unlocked several structures aimed to provide the first needed to build basic factory infrastructure and improved overview. Building these will provide a grid for more advanced organizing and sectioning of your factory. Alright, there's the ship that came to deliver my upgrade. Now it goes back. Alright. Now look at all these monitors up above. That's cool. Okay, pod launched. Okay, now let's get a logistics. I've got everything except the steel plate that I need. And so, let's go see if I've got enough steel plate already made. Take all. That looks like I do. Let's go back. All right, here's the pod. Milestone exchange concluded. Fix it freighter re-entry complete. Fantastic. Okay. Now I can go ahead and do the next Upgrade, rating for resources, boom, and those 18 there, and then out of this batch I'll put those in there, and then I need 300 of those, so I'll put all of these in here, and then the rest there. Milestone reached. Conveyor belts can now merge, split, and lift to increase the complexity and efficiency of your factory. We encourage you to consider more verticality when it comes to factory logistics to streamline short-range transportation. The productivity display will help you measure and improve the productivity of individual buildings to aid with optimization. Alright. Can't even see my next milestone. There's my next milestone. Yes, I can see. So I need a um, bunch of screws, and I've got plenty of both of those. I'm going to select that milestone. Um, I only have four screws, so I need to go make some more screws. And that's made out of steel, so I can change this to start screws. Yeah, okay. One iron rod. 
Oof, I need iron rods to make screws, darn it. So. See, I'm inputting ingots, so the ingots have stopped because it's not using the ingots anymore. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put another one of these bad boys right here. Now, I've got three attached to that. I think I can attach a fourth. we can go to build a conveyor belt now from here to into there. was a task. With a splitter and then a, a splitter and then a merger so that I could store both of those items in the same storage bin. All right. So let's take all and go see how much more I need of of anything. The milestone I have, let's see what are my bags. Okay, tab lets me see how much I have. I have 155 plates, that's plenty. I have 366 wire, that's good. I have 335, hey, I can do it. So let's go up, update the next thing, and I see my uh, that flying thing, whatever they call it, is back. So let's go put that there, and that there, and that there. Field research ready, parts received 700. And 
if we go outside, the map we can... has been unlocked. Yay. Milestone reached. The molecular analysis machine, referred to as the MAM, will allow R&D to provide new technologies, items, and buildings based on samples collected in the field. To ensure a greater chance of success during exploration, an upgraded tool belt has been provided, as well as an object scanner and beacons. Yay. Note, the object scanner requires calibration via the MAM to enable detection of specific objects. Okay. I guess we'll have to figure out what calibration via the MAM means. Okay, the pod has been launched and it's not back yet, so I can't. Let's go look at the next milestone. Let's see if we can select the next milestone. Tier 2, part assembly. So let's select that milestone. And we have an assembler. It'll be automated by feeding parts into it and conveyor belt connected to the input. Produced parts can be automatically extracted, connecting a pair of conveyor belt to the output. So this is when you need two parts to go in and one part to come out. Okay. And copper sheeting, I can use that. And now I'm creating a rotor, a modular frame, and smart plating. Okay. Smart plating. Let's see what obstacle clearing gives me. Oh, I get a chainsaw. Oof. Oof, solid biofuel. Can be used as fuel for the chainsaw. Okay, solid form of biomass. Some more inventory slots. That's cool. So, oh, jump pads. Okay, used for quick vertical traversal. Launch angle can be adjusted while building. Caution, be sure to land safely. <laughs> yeah, okay. And uh, U jelly landing pad generates a speed dampening jelly. Guarantees a safe landing, though. Well, that sounds unusual and interesting. An awesome sink. Got excess resources. Uh, fear not. Fixes does not waste. Awesome sink turns any useful part straight into research data. That sounds like my, yeah, there it goes. I can see the shadow of my pod landing. That's good. Okay, pioneers will be compensated with coupons spent at the awesome shop. Okay, and here's the awesome shop. Going the extra kilometer. <laughs> okay, color cartridge. Patterns and structure, or to structures with the customizer and the build gun upgrade. This build gun software adds a new tab to the build menu. The customizer pioneers can access, get ac have access to the color section as well as materials and pattern options purchased in the awesome shop. And then logistics too, conveyor belt. Okay. 120, Mark II, 120 sources per minute. Okay, moves resources faster. Um, a stackable conveyor pole. Support for conveyor belts can be stacked onto other stackable supports. And there's a conveyor lift. Okay, that conveyor lift would go with the conveyor belt Mark II. That makes sense. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and select this milestone. And I've completed activating Tier 1. Okay, looks like we're out of power for some things. We've got po Okay, we got yellow power there, so... I might need to go collect some more resources. Alright, that's good for this session. Um, hope you've enjoyed kind of playing along with me and helping me discover um, hope you'll, uh, you know, like and subscribe and, and uh, help me start growing this into something bigger and better. Suggest some things in the, in the comments. I always read the comments. So uh, hope to see you again next time. Thanks.